Everybody, we're uh, <clears throat> we're setting up in the creek bottom here. Garrett's been scouting these birds for the last few days, and we set up a uh, a GoPro this morning. And actually, did a time lapse, and all these birds have been feeding out in the field in front of us all afternoon. So we're hoping we made a nice little blind right here, a little wall. Hopefully, we'll get set up first thing in the morning and sit for a while, and they'll just come right in, start feeding like normal. But. The only thing I'm really worried about at this point is uh, is if they pick out my mustache. I don't think they will. I think we have some pretty dang good cover, but I definitely got to keep my hat brim low for that reason. Uh, other than that, I mean, it's, it's a pretty dang good setup. There's probably a flock of 25 to 35 birds, and I think we pegged out, what do you think, like six six, six to eight tom. Six to eight tom, so we're getting pretty jazzed. Uh, we're going to check back with you guys in the morning and hopefully watch some feathers fall, huh? Let's go. Might as well be midnight right now. <laughs> and they shot twice, dude. That's exactly what I was hoping he was not gonna do. I can't wait. Who wants a turkey hunt? Rolls down to the roosting tree, shoots him out of the tree in the dark. You got a tag this year? You're darn right I do. I'm gonna roll down to the roosting trees off my creek, I'm gonna shoot him at frickin' oh, I don't know, 520 in the morning. <laughs> wow, that sounds exhilarating. <laughs> Where's the fun in that? At least wait till it's daylight. Probably just shot two hands, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, this Tom has the shortest beard I ever saw. I guess I'm going home. I'll try back to Laramie. Oh, good. Oh, there's another one. Yep, I'd say, uh. Oh, there's a fourth. We got here a little after five. <clears throat> Jumped in our blind that we had set up last night. Set up all our decoys. It's a beautiful morning. Turkeys are hammering down on their roost about seven, eight hundred yards away from where we're set up. They like to come in here in the mornings and scratch around and feed. Uh, we knew there might be another guy hunting the property. And about a little after 5.30 in the pitch dark, we heard multiple gunshots. So we're not sure what the birds are going to be doing now. We don't know how many he killed in the dark off the roost. So now all we can do is wait and see. See if the birds are going to come in here or not. Might as well shoot that, dude. You see a coyote? <laughs> Thank you. 
No, he's just, he's got all his camo and shit on. Doesn't look like somebody would be whacking him out of trees. And if you were whacking him out of trees, you wouldn't be driving down here right now. Oh, that's how I said. Oh, dude, but... <laughs> Don't fuck with him, Shader, like... We spotted some birds just off the road. They're working towards an area that we can hunt. We're gonna try and cut them off, get in there and call. Hopefully they'll cross the road, come take a look at us, and we can get a shot. Hopefully we can get into a more quiet place where we'll be alone. So we spotted some of those birds from this morning down where we were sitting. Um, we're gonna slip down here in the creek, try and get down there as fast as we can. We're only gonna bring one decoy, just set it up, give them something to look at, but we gotta get moving, so stay tuned. Are you sure you saw us? I swear to God.
Shot Fucking at. hit him and killed him. Getting Just shot at, dude. I thought he was just gonna leave with bullets in his butt. You're, did you have him on film? Or did yeah, you I got him. Oh, he rolled right behind a tree. But yeah. Right. yeah, he rolled up right he behind a tree. Might not be dead. Well, I don't want to waste no I long beard on him. Just in case he gets up and tries. Yeah. To... Speaking of long beard, he's not. That's why he's right there. Honestly, haul around and go to Dennis where we are going. I don't think these are the same chicken. What are you, Kurt? There he is. Hold him up. Hold him up. Hold him up. Range find that. That was a bomb. Dude, I was shaking so bad. I was getting such hard fat noises. <laughs> I was shaking like a leaf. I was shaking so bad. I mean, he was dead. I don't even know. I could barely see him. He looks so close to my eye. Yeah. Rolling up, boy. Didn't even flop. No. That's like the same size as last year, huh? <laughs> Freaking told you guys. In my mind, dude, I never. I wouldn't have even shot that if he, if he wasn't on his way out. I think, you know what I mean? There's oh, no for reason sure. not to shoot. I the only reason I thought we should shoot him is because one, today's been so dang Oh, tough. I know. I was thinking the same thing. And two, but all of his hens were already I wanted leaving. that time. Once I saw out. the hens leaving, I was like, all right, we're going to have to kill him. But he, if had, he, he, had, kept he had no idea. Yeah, he had, he no, had idea. no idea. He had no idea. As soon as his hens started leaving, he was like, where are you going? Yeah, I'm going to follow you. That other time, that those hens started calling back there. He turned around. Those other two hens just were like, mm -mm. Yeah, exactly. They played this game this morning. Yeah, that was a hard. These poor turkeys got, because of you, and the other dude got shot at nine times a day. <laughs> Welcome to Dude, I, day, slung, I slung the first one, and I was like, I mean, very instantly was like, yeah, shoot him again. That's the second shot. I didn't even. I was like, he doesn't have to pump. He's still running, I know. I was like, yeah, he's still running. <laughs> I better <laughs> shoot. <laughs> yeah, that was so sad. Oh, what a hunt. What in the nick of time, boy. No freaking kidding. In the nick of time. Yeah, you shot him. <laughs> you shot low. That's what I was afraid of with those shells. You weren't going to be able to reach out and touch him. You definitely shot him in the body. Dude, I, I held him right on the top of his head, too. I know he did. He's like, I said, he's like 65 yards. And Garrett told me, that's what I was saying. Garrett's like, he's close enough. I'm like, I don't think so, bro. <laughs> Wait, so if he crosses Dude, that 50 mark, he went, we have yeah, that 50 he went to half strut right here. And he was looking at her, I was like, oh yeah, he's gonna break. Then there, was, hens. there was just no noise or nothing. There's hands, I know. Well, and you said scratch. There's a little pile of leaves inside that tree. I was just like, trying to scratch him back and forth so I didn't lose my leaves. And every time you did, he'd freaking. There was just up. too many eyes. And then when his hen started walking right here, I was like, let's just try. If we were more hidden, then I would have called and scratched a little more. But with all those eyes. Though honestly, we would have been fine, but we didn't have the shadows. If yeah, we would have been on that side. Not a great spot in afternoon. We'd have been fine. I'm not gonna lie to you. There's Schrader in the blind, sitting there. That's what the turkeys saw. So the cover wasn't too bad. There was a little bit more sunlight when they were in here. This is where he died. Slept in here in the nick of time. Dude, I saw him, and they were coming. I thought Garrett was dogging me, dude. I was like, as many stump I saw, as dude, I saw one today? hand just stand. She looked like our decoy. Standing on the ridge, on that creek, and I was like, when I was standing there, and you guys were trying to slip in there, I looked. He's right up against a tree, full strut. I was like, Ooh. I don't know if he has any babies in his head. He does. Does he? Yeah. Them long bears eat, dude. <laughs> Ask me if I'm ever gonna shoot a two and three quarter again. 
<laughs> that was my bad, bro. You better go get your box of long beards. I'll send you a to. box of three and a half. Yeah, Garrett asked That's me, he's like, like do you shoot threes or three and a half? I was like, dude, I don't shoot any of the three and a halves. <laughs> oh, man. Literally so quick. It's funny because you can just be so down all day and not think anything's going to happen. And then you pull What's up in the truck talking to somebody on the phone. And Garrett's like, strutter, 200 yards. And he goes, hut, back up. And I'm on the phone. I'm like, dude, what? Back up. That's, That's what happened was. to us last weekend in Wyoming, dude. It was yeah. nothing, nothing, nothing. All of a sudden, there's turkeys on top of us. Exactly. We didn't have time to do nothing. Exactly. It's not the best for film, but it's like, we're, we're here to kill them. I mean, we got them on film. Well, when I saw them out there strutting around and you were standing back in the trees, I didn't think you were going to jump in. I thought you were going to stay back I was going to stay, but you guys kept calling and my name. And came behind the tree, and I was like, dude, just jump in yeah, here. Yeah, I was going to stay and call for you, brother. But you wanted me to kill them, so I was like, okay, I'll do it for you, Hudson. I'm just a very selfless person. I know you are. I'm not. <laughs> I'm definitely not. I can't believe I even let you shoot first, to be honest with you. I know. I missed on purpose. <laughs> Thanks, <buddy. laughs> Appreciate you. <Okay>. Wow. <laughs> what a day. Um, it's been a crazy opening day here in Colorado. Um, we snuck into this berry spot. We were in here about 5.15 this morning. We couldn't sleep. Getting antsy, so we got up. We wanted to make sure we got in here early. Um, we got a full decoy spread set out. Um, we were sitting there, and right around a little after 5.30, we heard a lot of gunshots in the pitch dark from the land not too far you know to the south of us um we didn't really see any birds all day we picked up some of the bird from the flock that was getting shot at on some other land that we couldn't hunt try to make a move on them we've had people stocking our decoys all day um it's it's been wild but we stuck with it we came down here we were going to actually walk across this piece <clears throat> to another part um we slipped in here garrett saw some turkeys coming right into this creek bottom down here. Um, we went light, brought a pack, one decoy. We snuck in here, we set the decoy up, and we just got set up. Spot wasn't great because the sun was really beating down on us. Um, we stayed real still. All of a sudden, a uh, whole bunch of turkeys were coming our way. Um, and this Tom, he was leading the charge. He was hungry. And uh, the big Tom, he stayed in the back, he was moving the hens, and they were all coming in here. And all of a sudden, the hen called from down the creek, and that Tom and two other hens just turned around and, and went. We had about I don't know, seven, eight hens that were just kind of feeding around. I feel like they kind of knew something was up. Like I said, our cover wasn't great. This Tom was just eating, 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 eating. He had no idea what was going on. He was sitting out there, and Garrett was wanting to kill him right there. We were trying to figure out how far he was, and we knew he was probably a little too far. We were trying to stay patient. We were hoping the other birds would come in. They wouldn't do it. The hens started leaving. He started leaving. I told Hudson, all right, you take the first crack. Garrett, you ready? Called a little bit. He stuck his head up. Hudson hit him on the first shot. Hudson was slinging lead <laughs> threw another one out of him on the second and i just kind of reflex shot him on the third he was about 68 yards on the run and i mean just buried him dead on the spot but i mean you can have a bad day all day long but as long as you keep working you stay out there you keep going doesn't matter you joke around how mad you are upset whatever you keep at him because you just never know 30 minutes can change your whole entire turkey hunt it was worth the drive i love being with these boys we got lots of tags this year we're going to keep rocking no matter how hard we have to work, it looks like we're going to be working pretty hard this year. Yeah. We're going to we're going to keep at them. This was a it was a quick hunt, but it was it was it was a relieving hunt. Like I said, we we had a rough so just to get one put down here around 4:30. Um, I wouldn't have thought it. We were like I said sneaking in the spot, but it was an awesome hunt, short and sweet. But we got a bird on the ground. That's all that matters. And I know these guys are excited. That was a good time. <laughs>